in the late 70s when skateboarding was starting to really go into the parks and competitions and pool skating was becoming more prominent Mike Fulmer was the first Floridian that I remember seeing leading the charge getting coverage in the magazine getting covers of the magazine and just generally representing Florida as an innovator and a stylist. Mike Fulmer. When that guy skates, he has so much style. And a lot of people don't realize he was on the ground floor in the innovation of the Ollie. I remember Mike showing up in California and introducing this to when he went from skate park to skate park. It was just like when Gelfand showed up. People were freaking out. He helped usher in an entire changing of the sport of skateboarding. I guess my earliest memories of Mike Fulmer uh, was coming to my local skate park with his sidekick, uh, Scotty McCrandles. They had this old van and they would just travel everywhere and stay in the van. I mean, true dedication, uh, that's all I can say. And uh, I just wanted to be like those guys and uh, escape as many places as I could. Mike Fulmer. I feel it's like there was guys before him like Petty, Bruce Walker, all these other guys, but Fulmer really brought Florida out to California and really put Florida on the map. He was such a fucking stylish ripper. Our first leader up from the Sims team from Florida, let's bring in Mike Fulmer. Fulmer, man, boom. Rock and roll, tail tass, killer bass head airs. He used to do like a bass head air, and then like a shuffle come in. Whoosh. Yeah, Mike Fulmer's sick dude. Well deserved. Congratulations, it's about time. <laughs>